Oh man, the news today. Oh, we have our cow! Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays? How are y'all doing? Oh man, the last two days have been amazing concerning gaming news. But before we get to everything, oh, so much to unpack in one epic video. Give the video a like, thumbs up. Let's get to it. All right, we had first, it's the first news item. We had three major gaming events over the past two days and they all revealed big triple a playstation 5 games the first one dragon quest 12 dragon quest 12 we got a teaser trailer and a little bit of controversy with what this game might be in the presentation, the developers said that this game is gonna be Dragon Quest for adults. So, will it be a more darker, realistic tone? Based on this art style, I think it's gonna be a combination of both. Uh, based on the, um, the title, it's gonna be realistic. You see the, the textures on the ground, but the Dragon Quest still has a cartoony feel to it. So, can't wait, but hey, can we take a second to appreciate the translator in that Dragon Quest presentation? She was God tier, bro. It was so bad, it was good. It was hilarious. She was trying to keep up with them in real time. It was funny. But Dragon Quest 12 has been confirmed coming out, and you know, see, we don't know, because based on Dragon Quest 11, Dragon Quest 11 of the three major platforms, the only one it launched on was the PlayStation PlayStation 4. So we already know it's a lock. PS5, this game is coming. It could, based on what the Switch Pro specs are, it could launch day and date on the Switch, but it's an iffy. Xbox. The JRPGs don't really launch on their platform, so that's an iffy. You see where I'm going? We don't have to hope and pray with Sony, man. We know it's coming to their platform. And so, our Dragon Quest 12, it's a lot for the PS5. Next! Back to back events, bro! We got the T, another tease for next gen sonic the next gen sonic game coming in 2022 the title is just sonic 22 for now but hands off to sega for this is how you do an anniversary celebration bro they had new games they had a remake remake where they actually you could see effort has been put into the remake of a classic sonic game sonic colors has been being remade um, a, a pretty good 3D Sonic game. So at least they, <laughs> they're remaking a good Sonic game. Overall, it was a good presentation for Sonic fans. But what I was waiting for was the next big Sonic game and that's what, it, that's what we got. It was just a teaser, no gameplay though. I'm a big proponent of gameplay. And you know who delivered on gameplay? Sony. Bra 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 bra. <laughs> we got to talk about this Horizon Forbidden West state of play. This game looked amazing. And if you go back, because the stream was in 1080p, but Sony went and re-uploaded the actual presentation in 4K. Oh my goodness. From beginning to end, amazing. Sony's developers are just on another level, bro. There's no other way I can say it. 
their developer talent is on another level. Her underwater, if you go underwater and you saw the hair physics while she was swimming, a lot of stuff you, you missed on the first or watch through. You got to go back and watch it again. But Horizon Forbidden West, the game looked amazing. And immediately, the Xbox haters were all in a frenzy. Is this game only 30 frames per second? It looked like it's 30. First of all, when you look at the prison, when you look at the gameplay, it did not look like 30 frames. Maybe it is, but it, it, it looks smooth. But every single PlayStation game that's been released was is 60 frames. Everyone that I could think of. There's a 30 frames. There's, it's not even exactly 30 frames, but there's a graphics mode and a performance mode option for every game, bro. <laughs> I'm almost, I'm very confident this game is gonna have a 60 frames per second performance mode, which will be the mode I'll be playing. I always go for frames over everything else, over resolution. This game looks fantastic, bro. Fantastic. Another game of the year contender, bro. I'm still doing my platinum run in Returnal. Right now, Returnal is my game of the year. But then next, in two weeks, Ratchet & Clank comes out. That might be my game of the year. Then Kena comes out. <coughs> that might be my game of the year. And I skipped Final Fantasy Integrate. Still coming in June. That could be a game of the year. Because Sony got bangers after bangers after bangers. Now, one, big, uh, one bit of controversy with this is when exactly will this game launch? The latest news is saying, and this is coming from Guerrilla Games, they didn't um, come with an exact release date for the game. They didn't um, flat out say November, blah, 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 blah. This is what they have said. Guerrilla Games said that it's aiming to release Forbidden West in 2021. But in a new blog post, Gorilla's Ben McCall said that we don't have an exact release date yet, but development is on track and we'll have an update for you soon. And the last thing I saw, shout out to Twitter, Panthorium. He be hooking me up with these um, like tips and, and news blurbs. Quarter 2021, quarter three or quarter four. Quarter three is holiday. Quarter four is spring 2022. So it could be either one. And part of me is saying, <coughs> Sony, is this, um, they need a big holiday title. Is this going to be their big holiday title? One, E3 hasn't happened yet. And they probably got a big surprise or two like no, that nobody expected. Two, without a major holiday title the PS5 is going to still sell like hotcakes. But do I think they're still going to have a holiday title? Yes, because it's Sony and they prepare for this generation. So, um, quarter three or quarter four, 2021 is what we're looking at for Horizon Forbidden West. Either way, this game looks beautiful, bro. Man, this game is fantastic. Alright, and one more news item. Bro, the Switch Pro is coming. Now, the big frenzy this past week is um, it's the, uh, expect an announcement before E3 um, launching September, October this year. But Amazon Mexico listed the new Nintendo Switch Pro and quickly removed it. And so it was listed new Nintendo Switch Pro which is sort of redundant either have the new or the Pro you don't need both but it's Nintendo we're talking about um, and it was quickly removed having the internet going, going in a frenzy but whenever you have these retailers start listing stuff that means an announcement is imminent 
typically typically so can't wait to see what the switch pro fingers crossed i'm so nervous with, when it comes to nintendo right now bro. all right but a lot a lot a lot of dope 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 news to feast on what do you guys think about everything summed up in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to know all things gaming bro sorry you missed it talking to my kids.